could sing the whole day long, it's not enough. Hey fam, what's up, what's up, what's up? This is Robert Anton here, robertanton.com, bringing you your X Factor results, show results. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I was really excited today to see what was going to happen and who is going home. And so let's get to what happened and who went home. They started out the show with the top 11 singing Save the World Tonight by Swedish House Mafia. And Astro and Chris Renee did a rap break, which was great because I thought every single show uh, Astro would be doing the rap break. But... They added Chris Renee this time, so that was enjoyable for me. The recap of last night happened uh, with added footage. I don't know why, you know, it was just long and drawn out. And it looks like they're going to do it every single time, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. But uh, they have decided to do it. They're having a Pepsi promotion, and they announced that, that you can choose all ki kinds of things for one of the performances or something like that. You can choose the outfits and all this good stuff. So go to the website and check that out and see what's going on. Next up. Willow, I'm see, I'm flying through this. Willow Smith did her new single, Fireball. You know, it's a little repetitive. <laughs> I, yeah, it's a little repetitive, but she's such a good performer. I enjoy her so much. I love the dancers, you know, her little skinny self. She's just, she's just, oh my God, she's just amazing to me. Just really, really good, right? And the imagery behind her, the fire and the balls and all this good stuff reminded me of Atlantic City because there's <laughs> off topic a little bit, but there's this game that I won on last time I was there called Fireball, so... <laughs> I was thinking about the fireball and like, oh yeah, I want to go back to Lady City. Okay, so stop that. It's shame on you for making me gamble. Uh, next up, Jessie J performed her new single, Domino. And, you know, she had on this kind of racy outfit, just like little, little, it wasn't really a one piece because I saw her midriff. So it was just this little outfit and it was nude, flesh colored. And then she had these stripes all over it and, and you know, some places. And I was like, that's kind of racy for X Factor, but whatever. It was kind of cute. Now, Steve Jones is liking it a whole lot, maybe too much. I like the banging and the bouncing drums on the back. They had these drums that were going that I really, really liked. Um, and she sounded really great. The three judges gave her a standing ovation, all except for L.A. Reid. And her new CD is out now. It's called Who You Are. To help out with a little promotion there. You know, I, I wish I was getting paid for this, right? <laughs> Getting down to results. You know, this is the top 11 right now, so they announced the top nine vote getters in no particular order. Stacey Francis, Astro, Melanie Amaro, Marcus Canty, Leroy Bell, Rachel Crow, John Cratchit, Drew, and Chris Renee were all safe. And the bottom two was Lakota Rain and the stereo halls. Okay, so we went to commercial, naturally. We came back for Lakota Rang to do No Air by Chris Brown and Jordan Sparks. It started out really rocky. I was wondering what was going on. It just wasn't jiving. I was thinking, is this the arrangement? Because it's really, really bad. Uh, Haley was singing to start out. It got a little better, but it was kind of out of sync for me the whole time. And they were off in their harmonies and places. They looked great. You know, it, it seemed very heartfelt, but it just wasn't doing it for me. Then the Stereo Hawks performed. They did You're Not Alone, Michael Jackson. Trace, the lead singer, was singing his heart out, and I wasn't getting a whole lot more from the rest of the group, and I was like, maybe this is one of the reasons why this is the second time in the in the bottom, you know, too, but I don't know. I just feel like maybe, you know, people aren't connecting with the group for some reason. Actually, on Twitter, some people were saying, you know, that people are voting against Paula because she's being catty to Simon and all this, and I'm thinking, I, I really hope that people are not voting against one of the judges over the other acts. That, that just wouldn't make sense to me. And you know, as pompous as Simon is, I would think people would be voting against him if they were voting against anybody. I just think they haven't been connecting with the groups very well. So once again, we had to go to the judges' choices after they all sang, and each judge had to say who they were sending home. L.A. sent home the Stereo Hogs. Then Nicole sent home the Stereo Hogs. Paula abstained from voting. She just was, she was distraught. She would not vote. She was crying. She, she was just refusing. And so Steve gave her several options, and Simon was saying, oh, you, she's not going to vote. She's not going to vote. So he 
gave one set of rules and then he came back again. I mean, he was standing there, but I mean, I guess somebody said something to him in, in, in ear and he said something different. And so then finally, Paula voted and she said, I'm voting for the stereo halls. She wouldn't vote against Lakota Rain, which they're supposed to vote to send by somebody home. She voted for the stereo halls, whatever, semantics. So she voted to send Lakota Rain home. Then Simon voted to send home the Stereo Hogs and the Stereo Hogs went home. So what did you think of those results? I felt like, and I wrote on Twitter that, you know, it was their second time in the bottom two, so they probably should have went home, and the Stereo Hawks did go home. They're very talented, you know, but it seemed to me, again, it's like Trace and the Stereo Hogs. I mean, like, he's the lead singer with his backup and his background. Um, and maybe that's one of the reasons why they were in the bottom the last two weeks. And maybe one of the reasons why America's not connecting with them at all. So, whatever. Tell me what you thought. Tell me if you enjoyed the results show. Um, who do you want to see perform? That's what I want to know. Who do you want to see perform on one of the results show? Who's your favorite performer that you'd like to see perform right now? All right, this is Robert Anton, RobertAnton.com. I do the So You Want to Be a Singer series here on YouTube. Also, check out my originals playlist right here, Robert Anton NYC. I could sing the 